Hello and welcome. So in this example here, we're going to apply different sampling methods to generate a sample from this group of numbers, right? So um, this table displays six sets of quiz scores. Uh, each quiz counts uh, 10 points from an elementary statistics class. All right, so it's basically these are this is the raw data. Okay, so it's just a co collection of all the quiz scores. Uh, we're going to use a random number generator to pick samples. Um, so I'm going to show you one. You can use an online number, random number generator, or a calculator one, or StatCrunch has one. Um, so uh, we're going to use that to create uh, samples using different methods. Okay, so the first method says create a stratified sample by column. Um, and I need, um, it doesn't specify how many things I need in my sample. Alright, so for number one, uh, we can decide which sample size. So a stratified sample by column. Right, so basically this says that you are using the column as the strata. So we're going to pick a certain number from each column. So let's put our columns here, number one, number two, three, five and six. All right, and we're not told how many we want in the sample, but we can decide how many to pick. So let's say I want to pick three um, random numbers from each column. Right. So how I can do that is I'm, I can number my rows. I can say this is row one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I need to pick three random numbers, uh, non-repeating, um, from and then get those numbers from row one, pick three different random numbers from one to 10 and pick those numbers from row two and so on. Okay, so let me grab a random number generator. All right, so here's how you use the random number generator in StatCrunch. Let me slide this down in StatCrunch. So log in and then you can go to open StatCrunch. All right, and then you see this table here, you're going to go to applets. And if you look down the list, there's a random numbers. Okay. So this will let you specify what you want. So since I have row ones through 10, I'm going to have a minimum value of one and a maximum value of 10. And I want to have a sample size of three. Because I want to generate three random numbers from each of my columns, right? I don't want repeats. Um, so once it's chosen, then I don't want the number to come up again. And this one, a dyna dynamic seed is better uh, because it kind of resets at each time, all right? So I'm going to compute. All right, and you can see I get the values three to seven. Okay, so I'm going to go to here. Right, so I'm going to write, I got three, two, and seven. So I'm going to pick three, two, and seven from my first column. So these are the scores 10, 9, and 7. Okay, then I'm going to go back to StatCrunch. Right. And do it again. Get six, seven, one. So I'm going to go in my second column, row six, row seven, and row one. All right, so then I have seven, nine, 
seven. Those are my next three scores. Right, let's pick. Let's start this sample again. Five, ten, three. So from here I get five, ten, and three. So these are six, five, nine. Let's do it again. Eight, nine, seven. Eight, nine, and seven. We have eight, eight, seven. Did I miss one? I missed row three. It's okay. Let's do it again. Ten, eight, four. Ten, eight, and four. So nine, eight, seven. And let's do it for number three. One more time, nine, eight, seven. Again, seven, eight, nine. So ten, nine, and eight. Now, it doesn't matter at all, but just to kind of stick with where we chose them from, this was from column six and this is from col column three. Okay? So this collection right here is your random sample. Okay, so, so we chose out of 18 scores. So we chose 18 scores, three random scores from each of my columns. So it's stratified by column. All right. Cool. Now let's look at um, cluster sam sample by picking two of the columns. Okay, so we're going to do clusters, cluster sampling now. All right, so let me erase this. So cluster sampling by column means um, we're going to number our columns, which they already are, columns one through six. And we want to pick two random co columns. So here in my number generator, I want to pick two random numbers from one to six. So let's go to StatCrunch. I'm going to have one through six. And we're going to choose two random numbers, three and six. All right, so here I chose three and I chose six. Now you take everything from these two columns. Okay, so your sample for, for cluster sampling is going to be 10, 9, 8, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 8, 10, and then everything from here, 3, 6, 9, nine, four, seven, eight, 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 seven. Okay. So this is a random sample of 20. Scores chosen randomly by using cluster sample. All right. Um, number three, number three says create a simple random sample of 15 quiz scores. Okay, so this means that we're not dividing things into rows and columns into groups. I want to choose 15 of these randomly. Okay, so basically you need to number each of them and get the number generator to create, uh, to give you 15. Okay, so um, you can decide how to number them. For example, you could say this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and these you get eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and so on to twenty, and this is twenty-one to thirty, and thirty-one to forty, and forty-one to fifty, and fifty-one to sixty. So they're number one through 60, okay? So I need to pick 15 of these randomly. So you're gonna go to your random number generator and I want a minimum of one, a maximum of 60, and I want a sample size of 15. Okay, so 
So this is these are the ones that I want to pick. Okay, so the third, the twentieth, the forty-fifth. So let's see, three, twenty, forty-five. So let me circle them. So number three, number twenty, number thirty-five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, 10, 13, and 32. 10, 13, and 32. 4, 8, and 60. 4, 8, and 60. 26, 15, and 27. 26, that's, there's 15, I forgot, 26, 15, and 27, okay, so 26, 15, and 27, all right, um, 7, 39, and 19, 7, 39, and 19, 60, 70. there we go. Okay, so this is my list. Okay, so basically you put these in a group. So we have nine, nine, seven, eight, eight. Second column, I have 10, eight, seven, eight. I have nine, 10, five, seven, and seven. And I missed an eight up there. Okay? There should be 15 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So sample size of 15 scores with a simple random sampling method. All right. Let's look at number four. So number four says, we want to pick a systematic sample of 12 quiz scores, okay? So you're going to choose the first one randomly, all right? And um, a good way to figure out how many to jump each time is to take the total number and divide by the sample size. And round either up or down it doesn't really matter okay so I need I have 60 in total and I want a sample size of 12 scores 60 divided by 12 is 5 so we're gonna pick the first randomly and then every fifth okay all right so what I want from my random number generator is to pick one randomly, so number one through 60, and pick one as 42. So 42 is my starting. Okay, so first one that we're going to look at is number 42. So that's the first one that goes on my list. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of these red circles here. That was from the last one. to keep the numbering there. All right, so number 42 is my first one. So 40, 41, 42. Okay? All right, and then I count every, every five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, notice that basically if you went, if you're at the end of the list, then you just go back to the beginning, okay? One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five, and five, and four, five. Okay, so we got 12. 
right? So your numbers on the list are 10, 5, 9, 8, 7, Six, seven, seven, ten, nine, eight, eight. Okay, I got twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is a sample of twelve scores chosen using systematic sampling. All right, so this this is a, a good example to kind of show how to apply the different methods. All right.